Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2, where I'll be going over ecosystems and food webs. An ecosystem is the entirety of all life in a natural system. In most cases, that natural system is a biome. A biome is a large area of land that is characterized by its temperature, weather, location, and by the plants and animals that live there. On Earth, we have both biomes on land and underwater. A biome on land is also called a terrestrial biome. Some examples you're probably familiar with are forests, deserts, jungles, and prairies. Underwater biomes are also called aquatic biomes and can be further separated into two categories, being freshwater and saltwater. Freshwater biomes consist of almost all aquatic biomes outside of the ocean. Some examples are lakes, ponds, and swamps. Saltwater biomes are mainly in the ocean. The ocean has different biomes depending on how deep underwater you go. Some examples of saltwater biomes are coral reefs, the open ocean, and the ocean floor. Ecosystems are usually enclosed systems, meaning that wildlife rarely enters or leaves. A good example is a pond, where aside from migrating birds, most of the life remains in the pond and never leaves. In an ecosystem, all of the wildlife is connected in some way or another. A good way to look at these connections are through food chains. A food chain shows what eats what in a simple path. I'll show an example on screen and walk you guys through it. First, we always have our primary producer, which is typically a plant. A primary producer is an organism that does not consume another organism and instead lives off of sunlight or chemicals, but in most cases sunlight. In our example, our primary producer is a patch of grass. Next on the food chain is a herbivore, in our case being a grasshopper. Herbivores only eat plants and are always the second organism in a food chain. The second organism is also called the primary consumer since it is the first consumer in the food chain. Next is our first carnivore being a frog. Carnivores only eat meat, meaning they are usually predators. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals, with the target being called prey. Not all carnivores are predators though, they are also scavengers, which I'll get back to later in the video. Continuing on the food chain, the frog is prey to the snake, and lastly the snake is prey to the eagle. The animal at the top of the food chain is also called an apex predator, and is not hunted by any other animal in the ecosystem. When it comes down to the populations of each species, or in other words how many individuals live in the ecosystem, the numbers decrease as you get higher in the food chain. If you stack the population amounts, it would look like a pyramid, with the apex predator at the top. While a food chain shows one example of the connections between wildlife and an ecosystem, a food web shows all of the connections. The arrows can make it look a bit confusing, but it's pretty similar to a food chain. In the bottom left we have our primary producers, just like in the food chain. Now we have two herbivores, being the grasshopper and the deer. We also have three omnivores, being the field mouse, the blue jay, and the fox. Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and animals. This means that these animals are in different levels of the food chain depending on the path. For example, the field mouse is a primary consumer and a secondary consumer, since it eats plants and the grasshopper. Unlike the food chain I showed before, there are paths after the apex predator that go to scavengers and decomposers. Scavengers are carnivores that eat other dead animals, in our example being a turkey vulture. Decomposers are similar to scavengers, except they consume any dead matter, which includes dead plants and fungi as well. The most common decomposers are worms, mushrooms, and some bacteria. I'll have an episode specifically on decomposers later in the series. While I only have arrows from the eagle going to the scavengers and decomposers, there should be arrows from every animal going to them, but that would make the food web an absolute nightmare to look at. Food webs look different depending on the ecosystem, but they all follow the same basic principles. There is always a primary producer at the start, which is then followed by a herbivore, a few levels of carnivores, and then the decomposers at the end. I hope you guys have a better understanding of what an ecosystem is after watching this. Next episode I'll be going more in depth about animal habitats. Thanks for tuning in, and see you next episode.